called out there. Uh, what I want to talk about, guys, right now, though, is this Philadelphia rushing game. I know on the show we've been pushing Miles Sanders as possibly a buy low candidate. We're expecting him to get a little bit more involved. But yet again, we see it. Here's Miles Sanders with only six carries. Uh, Boston Scott well, got, got seven. Hurt. Kenneth Gainwell got five. Um, he did. He Miles did Sanders got hurt. He was, he, was, he was getting more involved. He was looking good, and then he got hurt. I mean, but the yeah. rushing attempts for the rest of the team still aren't very high. Like this team is yeah. seemingly still, I know they were down in this game, but they, they aren't rushing the ball kind of like we expected. Um, if Miles Sanders comes back, are you guys still viewing him as a potential buy low? Or is this the kind of player that is uh, hands off at this point? Josh, we'll come to you first on that one. Well, obviously, we have to see how serious the injury is. Um, if, you know, if he's out for the season, I wouldn't recommend buying him low. Uh, but, uh, you know, no, I I'm, I, I don't really I'm, I'm nervous for all the rushing options on the Philadelphia offense. However, if Miles Sanders is out for the season, Kenneth Gamewell, you, you have to have on your roster. You know, uh, he, he's going to oh be very my involved. God. Yeah, he's already involved. Um, even more so. Yeah, you're even right, more though. so. Yeah, you're yeah, you're absolutely correct. He had eight targets today, four receptions, and a touchdown for Kenneth Gainwell. There's not much more you can ask uh, ask for from a running back. If a running back gets eight targets, you're most likely starting them. Uh, they're a fantasy football start. Mm -hmm. yep. It doesn't matter if they're only getting five carries. You're starting a running back with eight targets. 